All right, so to start, we need to know that the guitar needs to be tuned uh, down half step down, okay? You need to tune your guitar down uh, so you can play on top of the original track. If not, it's gonna sound, you know, on the standard tuning, it's gonna still sound good, but not you're not gonna be able to play on top of the original song. So to, uh, to start, we're gonna start with the intro of the song, and we're gonna do the following. We're gonna start doing that. So now it's the same lick, we're just gonna repeat it, repeat it several several times. We're gonna that that's the lick. We're gonna start on the three of the E string. Start here on the three, then do a pull off to the open string. You have to strike the open string again. Then we do the same motion three, pull off to the open string, and strike open string again. And the third time we do three, pull off to open string, and that's the lick. Let's go again. So each time you, if you finish with the lick, you start again, 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 again. The only thing is that you have to play it much, uh, much, much faster. So when we finish that, you're gonna have to. We're gonna do that, we're gonna play in octave, octaves, we're gonna strike the third of the E string and the fifth of the D string, we're gonna strike it just once, do a slide to the five and seven, and when you're on the five and seven, you strike twice again, and you strike a third time, and you slide back to three and five. And to finish, you strike again three and five, and slide back to five and seven. Go again. Now, next motion, you just repeat the same lick again. And you do that. So it's the same, the same, the same motion, the same movement. The only thing is that the, you don't finish it because you need to do something else. You start the same way, slide to six, to five and seven, twice on the five and seven. You strike one more time on the five and seven slide back to three and five and as soon as you do that you have to do you do that so you're gonna go to you're gonna use the A string and the D string five on the A string uh, hammer on to seven on the, on the A string and then you go to seven of the D string and you strike three times as soon as you do that, you go to five of the D string, strike one time, and you need to do a tiny band. After you do that, you go to seven of the A, and you pretty much start the lick again. Start again. So you repeat it four times, and the last time you have to you do a five, Come around to seven. Say okay, and after you do that, you just go back again to the same lick we did before, and then you start with the burst. Okay, so with the burst, we're gonna do uh, two rounds of the same thing. Uh, with the burst, we just do two rounds of the uh, the same uh, the same patterns. So we have to start. To start, we're gonna do an E chord, open E. A, a second of the A string, a second of the D string, just strike once, then go to a G power chord, three, five, and five. And then what we're gonna do, we do that. We go to the second string, the B string, and the G string on the 14th fret. We need to strike both strings at the same time. You strike three times on the 14. Then you go to 12 and you do the same thing, 12 of the G of the G string and 12 of the uh, B string and you just strike twice, uh, I'm sorry, once. As soon as you do that, you go to 14 of the uh, D string and then on the 12th of the D string, strike one more time, hammer on to 14 and repeat the same motion three times on the 14 and then one time on the 12. And to finish, you go again to the D string and strike 14 and 12. Let's go again. Okay. 
Next, you're gonna do again an E power chord, open A, open E string, second and second, and then you're gonna go, you do that, you go to seven, nine, and nine, and chromatically you just have one position to six, eight, and eight, and then to five, seven, and seven. And now we repeat the same thing we did with the intro. I'm not going to explain again because I just did like one minute ago. So you basically just repeat the same thing and go back to the main riff of the song. And after you ba go back to the main riff of the song, you start again with the second round. So it's two rounds of the, uh, the, the same patterns. So let me show you how one of the, uh, the, the, first, the first round uh, we're going to play the first round and then we just move forward to the next section, which is the chorus. And then we just start again with the second round. Okay, so with the chorus, we can have two sections and each section is gonna have four different parts. Now, the first section, we're gonna do the following. That's to fix the first section and we had uh, four different parts. The first part is gonna be we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the D string on the second fret. We're gonna strike once. We do a pull off to the open string and then strike open E string. Then we go back again to the second fret of the D string. We strike twice and go to the E string and strike the open string twice. Then can, can we, we start uh, again and we go again to the second fret of the D, do a pull off to the open string, open E string strike twice on the uh, on the D string on the second fret and we're gonna finish uh, that section on a different way and we all the all the parts we're gonna finish uh, finish the, the parts in a different way we, this the, this uh, part we're gonna finish on the open E string and then open A string let's go again after we do that we start with the second part and we do we do that. Again, we just repeat the same motion. Uh, the only difference is that we're gonna change strings. We're gonna go second, pull off to the open string of the D string, and then open A string twice on the second fret of D, open string twice on the A string, and then again, second, pull off to open string. One open string on the A, and then strike sec twice on the second fret of the D, and we finish on a different way, going to open A string and open E string. Let's go again. After we do that, we go to again to the second fret of the D, do a pull off to the open string, and this time you're gonna use the third fret of the E string. We strike one time on the three, and then twice on the D. We strike three twice, and then go again to D, strike one time, pull off to the open string, three of the E, twice on the D, and then we finish on a different way, going to three of the E string, and then open A string. Let's go again, slow tempo. And to finish, we just repeat the same uh, the same section we did with the with the same uh, the same part, the second part, and we do the yeah, second open string on the D string, open A string, twice on the D, twice on the open A, then again to second pull off to the open string on the D, we strike open A, twice on the D, and to finish, since we finish all the sections in a different way, we go to twice on the open E string. Let me show you. So let me show you the first four parts of the, the first section and we just move forward to the next section. That's one. That's two. That's three. 
and that's four. All right, so with the second section, we're going to do something different. Uh, pretty much, we're going to change the plays, the, the first uh, the first part. When we do the, the pull off to the open string on the second, we change it for a different for a different thing. Five and pull off to second. So let me show you the first uh, the first one of the second section, and then we just go note by note. We do that. So we start on the D string, five of the D. We do a pull off to the second string. I'm sorry, so the second fret. Then open E string, twice on the D, then twice on the open E string, and then we start again. Five, pull off to second to second fret, open string once, then second fret twice, and we finish on a different way, going to open E and open A. Now the second the second part we're gonna do the same idea we did with the other one is five pull off to the second and now we're gonna use the open A string okay five pull off to second open A string twice on the on the D open A string five pull off to two open string once and then we strike twice on the D string and now we're gonna do we're gonna end it on a different way again and we're gonna go open A string and then third fret of the A string. Let me show you. Again. And now we're gonna go we're gonna do that. Five pull off to the second fret on the D string. We strike three of the A twice on the D twice on the three of the A and then again five pull off to the, the second fret three on the A twice on the D and we're gonna finish it on a different way again three and five okay three of the A string and five of the A string and now we're gonna do we're gonna do something like that so basically we just move the uh, move positions we go to seven on the D string pull off to four five on the A string one time twice on the four of the D twice on the fifth of the A and then again seven pull off to four one time on the five of the uh, of the A string and then we just we strike several times on the four of the D string And as soon as we do that, we end the second section and we go back to the main uh, riff of the song. And we just repeat it until the uh, the chorus ends and it ends with the, with an E string. I'm sorry, E chord. So let me show you the second part in slow tempo and then we just move forward to the solo section, okay? Go again. Okay, so to start with the solo, uh, there's a pre-solo actually, so we're going to do the following. We do that and we do four rounds of it. So basically we just do an A chord and if you want you can not play the, the E string and we go 7 and 7 of the 5th and the 4. You strike three times and then you go to 5 of the a, E of the A string and 5 of the D string and you're just gonna do a band, okay? As soon as you do that you go to 7 of the A of the E string and 7 of the A string you just strike one time and you do a slide. And as soon as you do that again, you go to open, I'm sorry, you go to an E chord, E power chord, and you strike several times. Let's go again. Now we repeat the same motion. And we do that. After you slide, you strike twice on the on the E chord, and then you you finish it, and you finish on the uh, on a G power chord. Just three, five, and five. Now instead of finishing right here, you can, you can do a, a bar on the 12th fret of the uh, B and the, the G string. 
and you can you can actually hear it on the original track on the second guitar it's gonna bury it so it's, it's some it's it's gonna bury it in there on the track but you can you can actually hear it so let's go again <laughs> And now the solo comes in. Now, with the first part of the solo, we're gonna repeat it four times again. That's what we need to do four times. So we go to a bar, make a bar on the 12th of the 14 of the B string and the G string. You strike three times and then go to 12 of the B and 12 of the G. And if you want, you can do a, a tiny band. As soon as you do that, we go, we do that. 12 on the D string, hammer on to 14, and then 12 of the G string, and 14 of the D string again. We're going to start again, three times on the uh, on the 14, and one time of the, of the 12. And we finish it doing that. 12 on the D string, hammer on to 14, and then 12 on the G string. And we do a tiny band. Let's go again. So we repeat the same uh, motion four times and then the next section comes in. Okay, so the next section. We're gonna do that. So it's the same idea we did with the other part. It's just actually the same thing. It's 14, 12 on the D string, coming on to 14, then strike three times on the 14, then 12 on the G string, a tiny band, okay? And then we just go to 14 of the D string and we start again. So we do the same motion three times. And the fourth time we're gonna start going to 12 and hammer on of the D string, we just start doing that, and we finish on a different way. We do we do that, we go to 14 of the G string, do a bend, a release, and a pull off to the 12. We repeat again the same motion, bend, release, pull off to 12, and then 14, and you do a bend. And the next section comes in. Now, the next section is going to be... There are many ways you can do that. You can do a 15 on the, on the, on the B string. You can do a bend, okay? A bend, release, and bend again. And then you do a unison bend. You strike both at the, t at the same time, both on the 12 on the E and 15 of the B. Do a unison bend and repeat the same motion. Bend, release, bend, okay? Or what well, you just can do, if you want, you can do, you can strike both at the same time and repeat the same motion again, just bam, 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 bam. And the next part, we do that, we go to 15 of the E string, we strike, we do a band, we kill the note, okay? We strike again, 15, go to 14, and then we go 15 again on the E string, strike, pull off to 14, then 15 of the B, 14 of G, and then you go back to 12 to the G on the G string. Strike one time, slide to 11, and then 12 of the D string. So let's go in a slow tempo. One more time. Now the next section. We do that. After you finish on the 12th of the D string, you strike again 12th of the D string, and then you strike again, and you do a hammer on to 14, or you just can do a slide, okay? So it's... Then 12th of the G, 14th of the D, strike again 12th of the G, and you go to 14 of the G string and you slide to the 16 of the G. Then go 15 of the B, strike 15 again, do a pull off to 14, strike 16 of the G string, 
14 of the B string and I would recommend to do a bar right here when you strike the 14 of the B because then you need to strike 14 of the G. So if you do a bar, you just have to change your finger just one time. Let's go again. As soon as you do that, you go 14 of the G, hammer on to 16. And now we're gonna go to the B string and do 14, 15, 17. Then to the E string and do 14, 15, 17. Next movement. We do that. 17 of the E string, we strike one time, we do a bend, we kill the note so there's no release. We kill the note. You do the release without uh, hearing the release. You strike 17 again of the E string, 15 of the E. And we finish striking twice on the 17 of the B string. Let's go again. Alright, so the next section. We do something like that. We just uh, we need to go to the seventh position of the E string and the G string. And the B string have, has to sound muted. Okay, just we just strike both the uh, strings at the same time. Just strike it and do a slide to the ninth position, okay? And we just maintain the position with the fingers. We strike once, and then without uh, sliding, we go to s back to seven and strike again. That's the movement. We repeat the same movement, uh, the movement twice, and then we do. We do that. We go to second fret of the G string, strike one time, do a bend like going to four, um, and then again strike again, second bend like going to four and we repeat the same motion again so basically we just do it three times and the last time we do second fret of the g string open uh, we do a pull off to the open string and then we do that on the d string we strike second pull off to the open string and we finish again striking the second fret of the d string The next movement. We do that. So we start the same way, seven and seven. We start to nine, we slide to nine, and go back to seven. Again, seven, slide to nine, and we go back to seven. And we do that. We go nine and nine this time. Strike once, and then we strike twice, and we do a slide to 12. As soon as we do that, we strike again on the 12th and 12th, and do a slide to 16. And we strike several times. That's the movement. So you can strike uh, several times on the 12th of the uh, and the 16th. It, does, it doesn't matter. It's just still gonna sound good. So it's still gonna sound good. And the next section, we do that. It's kind of a Stevie Ray Vaughan. It's a Texas lick. Kind of a bluesy lick, uh, but we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the second fret of the G string. We strike second fret, and we do a band like going to the fourth position. And as soon as you you are on the upper part of the band, you kill the note, you kill the strings, and strike open E string. That's moving. Then we go to third fret of the B string. Strike one time. Do a pull off to the open string. And the next movement, it's three again on the B string, and you do you strike it, and you do a bend like going to the fifth. As soon as you do that, you kill again the strings, and you strike again, open E string, and you go to three of the B string, and do three, and pull off to the open string, and that is the lick. 
that slick. And you just basically repeat it again. <laughs> So you repeat the same movement, same lick, three times. And as soon as you finish it, going to when, when you're on the uh, when you finish on the three and pull off to the open string, you go to the E string and you strike three on the on the E string, you do a pull off to the open string, and then go back to the B string. And you do that. Three, strike, you do a bend, strike open E string on the B string again, three, bend, and open string. So let me show you in a slow tempo and then we just move forward to the final section. Okay, so the last section, we have four different rounds of the, of the final part and uh, the beginning of this part it's going to be always the same. So let me show you and then we just go note by note. After we finish with the on the previous section, we can slide to the 9 position of the G string. Okay, we just slide to the 9. We're going to strike 9 again. And we do that. Basically, I'm just going to the 7 of the B string and then striking the 8 of the B string and doing a pull off to the 7 and going back to 9 on the G. The next movement is going to be 9 again on the G string, 7 of the B, and then strike 8 of the B string, slide to 10, and going back to 9 of the G. So let me show you what we have so far. Next movement. And that is the first, that what, what uh, we're going to do on the first, on the first round. Then the third round is the same one as the first, but uh, let's check uh, the, this part. Basically, we just strike again, nine, okay? And then, do we do that? On the seventh fret of the B string, we stress once, we do a hammer on to eight on the B string, you strike again, eight and you do a slide to the 10 position. Then we go back to 8, strike 8, slide to 7, strike 8 again on the B string, and now we're gonna do, we do that. It's 7 of the B, hammer on to 8, pull off, back to 7, and then 9 of the G, 7 of the B, and 9 of the G. So let me show you the first, the first round of this, and then we just go uh, to the second one. So that's the first round. The second round, we start uh, the things the same way, but we're gonna finish it on a different way. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Start again with the same way. And then to that part, the same thing. And then we do that. We go to eight on the B string, strike one time, do a pull off to seven, back to eight on the B string, and then we do seven, come around to eight, pull off to seven, strike nine on the G, seven on the B, nine on the G, and then what we're gonna do is seven on the B, eight on the B, and then strike again eight, and do a slide to 10. Let's go again. Now the next part, the third, that's, that's gonna be this, this is uh, gonna be the second round. The third round is the same as the first one. Same thing. And the fourth and final round, we're gonna do start the same way. Same way. And then we do we do that. So the first uh, two parts are the same 
uh, as we did on the, on, the, on the other parts. And what we're going to do now, it's 9, 7, on, 9 on the G string, 7 of the B string, and you do 8 on the B string, and then you just strike 8 again on the B string, you slide to 10, and you just do alternate picking, you, you strike it uh, several times. Then you go to 12, and you finish on the 15 of the B string, doing bands, okay? So let me show you the final part. And that's going to be pretty much the whole song. The next sections, which is verse and choruses again, are the same patterns we did before and with the, with the previous verses and courses. So I hope you liked it and we see you on the next tutorial.